Incredible news has recently spread across the internet. NASA has discovered evidence of a parallel universe. But is this actually the truth? Well, there is a grain of truth in this story, but it's not that simple. Let's consider it. Perhaps you've seen the articles that said NASA has finally found a parallel universe. The story was widely publicized, and people got divided into two camps – those who took this news at face value and those who considered it all complete nonsense. But both sides aren't exactly right. Let's start from the beginning. The discovery was made by NASA's ANITA. This name stands for the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna. Yeah. It was designed to study neutrinos. Neutrinos are high-energy cosmic particles. They're incredibly small, lack any charge, and have almost no mass. Trillions of such particles pass through our bodies every second, and we don't even notice them. All because they almost don't affect ordinary matter. That's how insignificant they are. On average, in our entire life, each of us gets affected by a maximum of one neutrino. So basically, hunting neutrinos is like hunting ghosts. To catch them, you would have to send a whole stream of these particles through a giant piece of lead, and it has to be trillions of miles thick. At the same time, you have a 50-50 chance that you'll stop one of them. Therefore, in order to detect them, scientists had to come up with some clever tricks. We know that neutrinos, like other similar particles, come to us from outer space. Ooh. They travel to Earth from the Sun, stars, and even from the Big Bang itself. Some of them come to us from particularly big sources, such as black holes, supernova, pulsars, and even from various unidentified objects. Some of these particles have particularly high energy, and for scientists, these neutrinos are the most interesting ones. But oddly enough, most high-energy neutrinos don't actually come to us from afar. They form right here, next to Earth. This process has a cute name – particle shower. Well, this is how you can explain it in simple words. A granny particle gets into Earth's atmosphere. Usually, it's a particle with very high energy. Then, it generates several children that have less energy. Each of them then makes more grandchildren, whose energy is even less than theirs, and so on, until we have a giant family tree of low-energy particles. In the end, there may be billions of them. During this process, piles of neutrinos are created. Then they begin to sink deep into our Earth. During their journey through the planet, they touch the upper layers of its crust or ice, for example, Antarctica's ice. When faced with all these obstacles, they create radio pulses. And as you might have guessed, these are the exact radio pulses that scientists are trying to find. It may be a surprise to you, but Antarctica is pretty deserted, you think? And that's why it's the best place to study microscopic particles, which usually can barely be traced. There won't be any interference or anything like that. We can catch these pulses with the help of powerful antennas. NASA places these antennas on balloons that can rise as much as 20 miles above Earth's surface. That's how they've been tracking these neutrinos for the past years. All right, now we know what Anita is doing. But what about that parallel universe stuff? Nah, don't worry, we're getting there. In 2018, Anita began receiving abnormal radio signals that caused quite a stir in the scientific community. Remember how neutrinos come to us from outer space and then gradually sink deep into our planet? So recently, Anita has discovered neutrinos that didn't descend from space as usual, but rather rose up from Earth. In other words, these particles, called tau neutrinos, basically travel back in time. But how is this possible? Scientists began to research them. At first, they thought that maybe it was a detector error or an error in interpreting the data. But no, everything was correct. Something very exotic was happening. If so, then first we must try to find a simple explanation. What if these tau neutrinos just came to Antarctica from some other source? Maybe they came to Earth from the other side and somehow passed through the boundary. To test this theory, scientists decided to seek help from another cool neutrino observatory called IceCube. Yes, very cool! This observatory is located near the South Pole. It consists of 5,160 optical detectors buried in ice. 
and all these powerful detectors are designed to detect neutrinos. Anita and researchers were like, hey guys, we found some strange radio signals. Could you please check where they come from? No problem, Ice Cube replied, and started their research. And as a result, they found nothing. Yep, Ice Cube didn't detect any signal sources at all. It turned out that these strange particles had basically appeared out of nowhere. How could this be? Scientists tested many different theories, but none of them could explain the situation accurately. Later, Ice Cube published an article which basically said, nope, we have no idea where these signals came from and how to explain them in terms of the standard model of the universe. Oh, now it's getting interesting. So what on earth are these signals? Having exhausted normal explanations, scientists began to consider ideas that go beyond our understanding. One of them said that perhaps these particles had come to us from a parallel universe where time flows in the opposite direction. This crazy-sounding theory is the result of the famous multiverse theory. According to it, about 14 billion years ago, when the Big Bang happened, two twin universes were born. One of them was ours, and the other was a parallel one. And they're almost identical in everything, except for some things. For example, time in this parallel universe doesn't move in the same way as it does in ours. It moves backward. Besides, everything there would look upside down to us, as if we're looking in a mirror. Therefore, scientists call it the antiverse, and believe it could be filled with antimatter. And even though all this may seem strange and crazy to us, for those who live in that antiverse, their way of life would be quite normal. In fact, they would rather find us, the strange ones. So these mysterious neutrinos could be born in this antiverse. Let's say they somehow existed there and then accidentally got into our world, where we were able to detect them. The idea of the multiverse itself is really incredible. If it's true, then it may mean that there is an infinite number of realities, many of which are much better than ours. Quantum mechanics even says that it's quite possible that every second of every day, any of your decisions divides the universe into two. And so there are quintillions of parallel universes where our lives have gone very differently. Something like this is hard to even imagine. Of course, it would be great if we could find a way to get into another universe, and if these mysterious tau neutrino particles were able to cross the boundaries of two worlds, well, maybe we can do that too? But unfortunately, this phenomenon alone isn't enough to say whether the multiverse theory is true or not. This is just one of several possible options. At this stage of human development, we cannot prove or disprove this theory. Maybe someday in the future, we'll find out the truth, but definitely not now. The only thing we can say now, after this discovery, is that we've found strange radio signals which standard physics can't explain. So we need to move in this direction and study them to learn more about this incredible phenomenon. But people like to dream about space, so no wonder we've gotten so excited about this. And it would be great if one day it turned out that this theory was actually true. The theory of parallel universes has been popular in various movies and books for a very long time. Where would you go if you found out that you could travel between realities? Me? i look for a different reality of ice cream. <laughs>